I'd like to take you through the etymology of the word pigeon. So pigeon comes from pig, meaning, well, pig, and eon, meaning eternal. So, hence, eternal pig. What's up guys? My name's Dr. Minnie, welcome back to my channel, and today I'm going to deal with some comments that I had on a TikTok video that I made a couple of months back that may or may not have blown up just a smidge. I'll link the video in the description below, but just to summarise in case you don't have 50 seconds of your life to spare, lockdown was hard on everyone and my way of coping was I thought it would be funny to put a suit of bread on and go and feed the local pigeons who were missing out on their meal ticket because all the people had gone. To be honest, I do think it was quite funny and so does TikTok. However, now I was expecting a few comments about bread and about diseases, but boy did TikTok deliver. <laughs> Uh, not only do they think I'm responsible for mass pigeon murder, but also I am the bringer of COVID-2 electric boogaloo. So, are they right? Now there isn't a huge amount of research into pigeon diets, although I did find a few good papers. But I am a vet and I'll tell you what I am good at. Comparative anatomy. Now pigeons can be thought of as effectively having two stomachs the glandular stomach, or the proventriculus, and the muscular stomach, or the ventriculus. Just like mammals, a pigeon's glandular stomach secretes acid and digestive enzymes, while their muscular stomach, and I really do mean muscular because that thing is jacked, uh, that's there for grinding and breaking down the food, and it's even noted to frequently have small stones and grit in it, which is hypothesised to help break down their food even further, especially as they do eat it all whole. Now you can't always extrapolate from one species to another, but in this case, many other animals, including ourselves, with glandular stomachs are able to eat bread, so it is reasonable to assume pigeons can do it as well. And the presence of this really strong muscular stomach, which is something that we don't have, ensures they can mechanically break down a really wide variety of foodstuffs. Still, there are better choices than bread, so what should you be feeding them? by no means dangerous. I think that's the important thing to mention. It will not kill the birds. It does not expand in their stomach. It does not cause impactions or blockages. It will not cause them to choke. In short, bread is to pigeons what junk food is to humans. It's something you should only be having in small quantities, not very regularly, but when you do eat it, it's not gonna cause any catastrophic sort of problems. So can pigeons eat bread? It appears they can. So what about diseases? Am I really responsible for COVID-20 or bird flu 15? Pigeons can carry a number of diseases that can be dangerous to humans under certain circumstances. The disease of most public health significance when it comes to the interaction of pigeons and humans is a bacterium called Chlamydia psittaci, and it can cause a condition called psittacosis or ornithosis in humans, which is a form of atypical pneumonia. Worldwide data is quite hard to come by, but the prevalence of Chlamydia psittaci in feral pigeons has been estimated between 13 and 30%. Some studies have put it higher in certain populations that live in particular cities. Data from a comprehensive 2009 study stated that a recent extensive search of the literature identified 101 case reports of ornithosis in humans where the route of transmission could be traced to a contact with a feral pigeon. Of those 101 cases reported in the literature, exposure to Chlamydia psittaci contaminated dust, direct contact with pigeons through handling, and to a lesser extent through pigeon feeding, have been identified as hazardous exposures in more than half of the human cases. So what that's really saying is that you need to be in direct contact with pigeons and also specifically with feces. And I can tell you that God bless them, those birds did not poop on me once. So to summarise, a paper from 2004 concluded that although feral pigeons pose sporadic health risks to humans, the risk is very low, even for humans involved in occupations that bring them into close contact with nesting sites. In sharp contrast, however, contrast? Oh, we're very northern there. In sharp contrast, <laughs> the immunocompromised patient may have a nearly a thousand fold greater risk of acquiring mycotic, and mycotic means fungal, disease from feral pigeons and their excreta, so their poop, than does the general population. And also, addressing the old bird flu comment that's come up quite a lot, we've actually got a lot of really good research into that, which suggests that pigeons are not considered a transmission risk for avian influenza, or H7N9. They seem to be what we call a dead-end host, so they can be infected with it, but they do not shed it in quantities sufficient for infecting other animals or humans. So can I still go near pigeons? 
Absolutely. Just as with all animals, you should always be taking sensible precautions, such as washing your hands really well with soap, not touching your eyes, mouth or face after you've handled any animals, and avoiding completely if you do have a weakened or compromised immune system, or certainly in the case of pigeons, some sort of um, inherent lung problem. But in summary, I still don't recommend that anyone attaches bread to the body and tries to feed pigeons like I did. Do as I say, not as I do. Good day. I leave you with this hilarious display of pigeon dominance. Don't be like this guy. You know, this is what happens if you don't subscribe to me. So, you know, subscribe to me, make sure you get notifications for my videos. Please do like this video, even if you hate pigeons and even if the thought of what I did was your worst nightmare, which seems to be the case for a lot of people. They really do not like the thought of being covered in birds. I like to cover all sorts of veterinary things and animal related content. So if you like animals, then you should really subscribe. Okay, do it.